What's up guys? I'm literally sitting in a hole in a van right now because I got my van stuck at my new job and I was sitting here and this quote came to my mind. It says, you do not have to know where you're going to know you should not stay and how this relates a lot to in our lives, but it also relates to the like physical place I'm in right now of, I don't really know where I'm going after this, but I know that I don't need to stay in this spot like somebody is on their way to come and rescue me and i know that i can't stay here but i need to move even though i don't know where i'm going to go to kind of have this realization of we do this in our lives too maybe you are at a job that you absolutely cannot stand and you know you need to get out and you feel it you're just like i have to get out of here but you're comfortable there and you're scared to leave so you stay there and continue to suffer instead of looking for something different when you know you need to get out so what should you be doing? You're kind of like me right now sitting in this van, except you didn't call for help. Think about that. You're kind of just sitting right here in this hole, kind of how I was just not too long ago. No help is on the way. You've just sat there and decided that this is what I'm gonna do. It's all I'm gonna be, and I, this is just gonna be my life now. Instead of saying, you know what? Yeah, right now I am stuck in this hole, but I can call for help. I can pray to Jesus and ask, please help me with this. Like, what is your job for me? Like, what do you want me to do? Pray about it. Seek his face about this. And secondly, you can do this for yourself. Start looking at other jobs, things that interest you. Maybe a dream that you had as a kid and that you still have, but you just put on the back burner. And you'll notice as you're doing these things, especially praying to God, that is the biggest thing you could do for yourself. Have that relationship with Jesus where you're seeking him and he's going to help you He's going to be like that tow truck that's going to be here in about 45 minutes for me to pull me out of here and get me out of this hole. I thought it was funny that I came across that quote. I was just reading some of my notes for video ideas and came across that quote and I was like, dude, that's literally where you are right now. <laughs> but I think there are several instances where this very thing is true. It could even be a relationship, a relationship that you have found a comfortability in, but you know that it's not one that you need to stay in, maybe because it's not glorifying God and it's going against what God wants for you. It could be that, or it could simply be the fact that you're really not happy in this relationship and you wanna walk away, but you're scared to hurt the other person and whatever all else could happen. So what you've done is you've dug yourself into this hole. You are in the van right now with me and you're just sitting there and we have not called for help. Should you call for help? Absolutely, you should be praying, God, do I need to stay in this relationship? Do I need to get out of this relationship? If there are certain things going on with your partner, talk to your partner. That's one of the most important things you can do. Talk to them about the concerns you're having or maybe it's so far gone that you just need to step away. Then do that. Take some kind of step to where you're trying to get out. Try to be that tow truck getting yourself out. Try to let Jesus be that tow truck pulling you out. Because at the end of the day, isn't any attempt trying to get out of the hole better than doing nothing at all? Just think about that analogy. Think about different instances in your life where maybe you are just sitting in the hole. And just simply remember that doing something, even if it's not much, is better than doing nothing. But that is going to be all for this video, guys. I know it's not the perfect angle of everything, but it is what it is. I am stuck, and the rain is starting to come down harder, so we're going to end it here. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. I appreciate y'all, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.